Hello everyone, my name is Blades, and in this video I want to talk about every single one of the brand new food and recipe items added with the Frontier Comforts update of the Far Territories DLC. First of all, we have salt, flour, oats and oil. None of these can be eaten as they are and can only be used to make recipes. These are mainly found as loose items in kitchens, and as with most items, the higher the difficulty, the rarer they are. Alongside these, potatoes and carrots were also introduced. Carrots are eaten raw for 175 calories and potatoes can be cooked and eaten for 250 calories as well as providing a warming up bonus. These can also be found in kitchens as well as at farms. Look out for the new potato sacks and wooden drawers that have been added to the world. At the start of a run you'll have access to 15 basic recipes. There are also 9 special recipes that can be unlocked by finding each of the recipe cards in the world. Between them they use all of the ingredients mentioned so far as well as other food items that were added in previous Tales updates and some food items from the base game. Oh, and just so I don't have to repeat myself throughout the video, as a rule of thumb, remember that all pies, stews, broth and porridge recipes will provide a warmth bonus, but only stews can be reheated beside a fire, similarly to teas. Another important rule of thumb to remember is that any recipe that contains meat will also attract predators because of the stink mechanic and can be dropped as a decoy to distract them. Let's start by talking about the level 1 cooking skill recipes, all of which require a cooking pot. First we have broth. Its ingredients are salt, water and half a kilo of raw tamagam meat. This creates 4 portions, each of which contains 170 calories. Broth can also be found in the world occasionally. Next we have porridge, which requires a small amount of oats and half a litre of water. Porridge provides 350 calories. There are also 4 meat stew recipes. They require one portion of broth, a little bit of flour, and half a kilo of their respective meat. You can make venison stew, rabbit stew, ptarmigan stew, and trout stew, which requires the rainbow trout fish. Each of these stews provides 750 calories, except for the venison stew, which provides 900 calories. Stews also provide the improved rest buff, same effect as herbal tea, but only for 3 hours rather than 6. They also have a small debuff, instantly reducing your fatigue meter by 15%, so they are best eaten right before sleeping or as a source of warmth in an emergency. At cooking level 2, you unlock the ability to make bannocks, acorn bannocks, pancakes and acorn pancakes, all of which require a skillet to cook. The bannocks require flour, oil and water, which makes two 200 calorie portions. Acorn bannocks have the same recipe, but instead of the flour, you'll need a portion of acorn grounds. They also provide an extra 50 calories per bannock. Pancakes are similar, but they require less flour and the addition of a small amount of maple syrup. This creates one 500 calorie portion. Just like with the bannocks, the flour in pancakes can be replaced with acorn grounds, increasing its total calories to 750. At level 3 cooking, you gain access to pie recipes, which use the skillet. This is where things start getting interesting. There are two different categories of pie recipe. Firstly, there are the sweet pies, rose hip pies and peach pies. They both require water, oil and flour, as well as either 8 rose hips or 1 can of peaches. The rose hip pie recipe gives you 3 225 calorie portions and the peach pie gives 3 250 calorie portions. Both of the sweet pies provide the same effect, an instant 15% boost to your fatigue meter. They also give you a headache that lasts for one hour. Headaches will blur your vision slightly. Next, we have the meat pies. The rabbit pie, the venison pie, and the ptarmigan pie. Just like the sweet pies, they require flour, water, and oil. In addition, they require half a kilo of their respective meat. The rabbit and ptarmigan pies provide three 250 calorie portions, whereas the venison pie provides three 325 calorie portions. Instead of providing energy, each meat pie gives you a 3 kilo carry capacity bonus that lasts for 3 hours. Oh, and meat pies give no debuffs. So that covers all of the starter recipes, but the real fun begins with the level 4 and level 5 recipes that can be found around the world. Remember that these are guaranteed to spawn in specific areas, but they can be found in one of multiple spots within that area, so look carefully because some of them are pretty hidden. Firstly, we have the Camber Flight Porridge, which can be found in the hangar at the Saken Airfield. The Camber Flight Porridge requires a cooking pot, and its recipe requires 4 rose hips, 1 can of peaches, water, oats, and maple syrup. It gives 1,250 calories, 10% condition, and a 10% buff to your max condition that lasts for 3 hours. 
it also gives you a one hour headache. Next, we have Lily's Pancakes, which can be found at Grey Mother's house in Mountain Town. Lily's Pancakes require the skillet, acorn grounds, maple syrup, one can of peaches, oil and water. Its effects and caloric content are identical to that of the Kingber Flight Porridge, the only difference is that the pancakes do not provide a warmth bonus. Next up, we have the Ranger's Stew, which can be found at Foreman's Retreat in Ash Canyon. This requires a cooking pot, half a kilo of rabbit meat, half a kilo of venison, one potato, two portions of broth, two carrots and a little bit of flour. It provides you with 2000 calories. When eaten, the Ranger Stew instantly gives you 10% condition as well as a 10% increase in max condition that will remain for 3 hours. It gives you 3 hours of improved rest, but it also reduces your fatigue meter by 15%. And for the final level 4 recipe, we have the Thompson Family Stew, which can be found in the Thompson's Crossing Community Centre in Pleasant Valley. It requires a cooking pot, one canned corn, which can only be found in the signal void bunkers and transponder caches added with the Tales Part 2 update. 4 carrots, 2 potatoes, 2 reishi mushrooms, 2 broth and a little bit of flour. The Thompson's Family Stew gives 1125 calories and a 10% buff to your maximum stamina. And just like all stews, it gives you 3 hours of improved rest and reduces your fatigue meter by 15%. And finally we have the level 5 recipes in all their glory. Each of the level 5 recipes include a third additional cabin fever buff but through testing it, I was unable to figure out exactly what it does. It didn't cure cabin fever, nor did it remove hours from the timer, and it also didn't seem to lower the percentage on cabin fever risk, so this one's still up in the air. If anyone has figured out exactly how this buff works, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to pin it. Keep in mind that all five of these recipes require a skillet to cook. Firstly, we have the Breyer House Pie, which can be found in the Hunting Lodge in Broken Railroad. It requires half a kilo of ptarmigan meat, half a kilo of rabbit meat, half a kilo of venison and a little bit of water, oil and flour. The Breyer House Pie provides 2,125 calories as well as giving a 10% boost to health and max health and a 15% boost to your fatigue meter. Unfortunately, it also reduces max stamina by 15% for one hour. Next up, we have the Stalker's Pie, which can be found on an outdoor corpse in the southern part of Bush River Valley. It requires half a kilo of bear meat, half a kilo of wolf meat, acorn grounds, oil, water and salt. It gives 2000 calories, a 15% stamina boost and 6 hours of improved rest, so it's basically just a glorified herbal tea. It also limits your carry potential by 3 kilos for 1 hour, so it's really not that good. Next we have the Prepper's Pie, which can be found randomly in one of the 7 Prepper's Bunkers in the world. It requires acorn grounds, 4 reishi mushrooms, 1 burdock root, oil, water and salt. The Prepper's Pie is a fantastic healing item, healing you by 25% condition as well as increasing your max stamina by 15% for 3 hours. Just like the Stalker's Pie, it also reduces your max carry weight by 3 kilos. And now for the two best recipes in the entire game. First, there's the Coastal Fish Cakes, which can only be found at the Lonely Lighthouse in Desolation Point. It requires half a kilo of rainbow trout and two potatoes as well as some water, oil and salt. This gives you 4 213 calorie portions, each of which gives you 3 hours of 15% more stamina and 3 kilos of more carry weight. This means when eaten separately, this one recipe can give you 12 hours of increased stamina and carry weight, making it one of the most powerful recipes in the game. And on top of all that, it even gives no negative effects. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Dock Workers Pie, which can be found in the Cannery Workshop in Bleak Inlet. The Dock Workers Pie requires half a kilo of raw coho salmon, half a kilo of raw rockfish, a new rare fish added to the base game for free alongside the Tales Part 3 update, two potatoes, oil, water and salt. The Dock Workers Pie provides 1875 calories and is the most powerful healing item in the game, boasting an instant condition increase of 35%. It also increases max condition by 10% for 3 hours, however it does reduce max stamina by 15% for 1 hour, but it's totally worth it. And that just about covers everything, let me know your favourite new recipes in the comments, and let me know what else you would like to hear about in future videos. Goodbye for now.